Hello there, so this video is about Pywall. Um, so it's Pywall, you can install that through your uh, package manager for your distro. Um, but it's not actually this command at the terminal, it's actually WAL. Okay, so what is Pywall? Well, we can use it to, um, let's see here. For example, um, I can change, let's do wall, uh, dash I, neon, let's see what happens there. It will change the background. That's quite uh, harsh on the eyes. <laughs> let, me, let me try a different one. And I'm going to add alpha. A for alpha, history of space. Uh, sorry. A, you want to put uh, out of 100, so 90% opacity there. I, history of space. Okay. So this is now my uh, desktop. And you notice it changed colors for uh, polybar up here, and it changes colors in the terminal and stuff like that. So uh, let's change it again um, to, let's make it 95 or nine, 95, yeah. Barn, okay, I like that one more. Got just a little bit of transparency. So. Yes, as you can see, it matches, it, it looks at the image and then it matches, well, it comes up with some, it comes up with a color palette based on the image and then it uses that um, to set some of the things on your system. So, uh, okay, so there's some other, I, I've showed you the opacity option, which is nice. Um, there's a couple of other options you might be interested in knowing. Note, it, it does not have a man page, okay, nothing. Um, but we can do help and we get some stuff here. So alpha I talked about, um, I think what is useful here is basically this dash N, you can skip setting the wallpaper. I wanna try that out next. Um, if you wanted quiet mode, I don't know, maybe if you're loading your terminal on startup and you don't want it to output that stuff, um, because, see, I run, let's see here, this dash R, I have in my uh, .x init RC, so just wall dash R right before I load up my window manager, I have this there, and then what that does is it, yeah, it restores the previous one, so that I don't have to rerun it um, when I start up the computer, because if you don't do this, it's it, you're not going to have a um, background, and the colors are not going to be set, so you need this if you if you want it to just restore like normal, like you would expect, really. Um, what else? Uh, okay, you can run an external script after running the program. That's interesting. Uh, we talked about quiet mode. This is deprecated. You might I don't know. You might see this somewhere online, but if you did, uh, maybe check back here for what you should do instead. Then um, you can skip changing the colors in the terminals or TTY and uh, also so it reloads polybar uh, automatically so you can skip that as well uh, a couple more things let's see here TLDR is a package I like we'll check out what it has to say so you can preview it that's nice I, I don't remember if that was in the help section there um, you can do a, a light color scheme that might be good. And um, we talked about skipping already and restoring. So those are the main things there. Um, let me just try. So if I want to keep this background but change my color scheme, let's actually, I'm just going to add the alpha again. Then I N and uh, let's try something different. Royalty. Didn't work the way I thought it would. Let's just get rid of this. No. It's not working. Let's try like this. That worked. It changed everything, but it did not, um, it did not uh, change the background. So it looks like the TLDR is maybe not up to date there because I-N didn't work for me. I did dash N then dash I. 
But anyway, I think that's cool because you can experiment with having one uh, desktop background and then a different color scheme, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's also add the opacity here, let's say 85. So that works as well, which is kind of cool. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do subscribe if you're interested in my content and thanks for watching. Bye.